Well, today, survivors and relatives of those killed have been joined by tens of thousands of people right across the capital to remember at events large and small, public and private. Londoners came together to pay their respects, as Catherine Carpenter reports. As the clock crept towards the time the bombs went off, survivors and those who'd lost loved ones gathered at the places where their lives changed. Londoners, long defiant in the face of terror, bustled past, getting on with their lives, but remembering too. Strange juxtaposition between the normality of people going about their everyday lives and, uh, yeah, the kind of sombre and sad memories of that day as well. People still carry on as usual. I mean, it's a way of us uh, joining hands together to fight terrorism. Whenever you come into London now, you think about security, but today, even more so. But for others, today was about very specific memories, sights and sounds that will never leave them. I tried to help some ladies there, and doing so, uh, movements, uh, I could feel in my mind, they were happening to so quick, so quickly. I don't know if I was doing things in a speedy way, I do not know, but that's how I was feeling. And in other moments, in slow motions, in slow motion. So really, if you ask me, how long have you been there? Was, was, were you there seconds? Were you there minutes, hours? I wouldn't be able to tell you. It was quite shocking to what I see at first. There was a young lad outside the train with uh, another one of my colleagues who'd lost his left leg. There was a lot of shouting. People were very emotional and scared. Stories which galvanised a show of solidarity among ordinary Londoners this morning. Small groups met up to walk to work together. I'm sure all of us, those who lived in London and indeed elsewhere, remember where we were that day. Elsewhere, there were more formal acts of remembrance. This service in Tavistock Square, a multi-faith gathering in Tower Hamlets, and silence observed in offices and on the street. For John Tullock, being in the capital today was so important he flew in from Australia. A decade ago, he sat five feet from the Edgware tube train bomber. Today, he needed to sit among other survivors. Those lost comrades, I came to be with them and to hear about them some more and just have a bit of peace and silence and uh, comradeship. It was the prevailing sentiment of the day, Londoners wanting to share this anniversary, unbowed and unbroken. Catherine Carpenter, BBC London News.